Hello, welcome to the Bad Room Memory Show. Today's reaction is going to be Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Children of the Comet. This is Season 1, Episode 2. I am starting from the beginning because I haven't seen it, if you haven't watched my channel before. Yeah, what happened last episode? Last episode, Pike got over his fear. He did get introduced to some of the crew. Uh, number one, who, I want to say, kind of science officer, George Kirk, got introduced to Union Sung's descendant. I really hope she's not augmented at the uh, chief engineer yet, but we'll see. But without further ado, let's get to the show. Except, of course, for a recent invitation to dinner at the captain's cabin, for which I have been encouraged by Lieutenant Ortegas to dust off my dress uniform. You said it was formal. That one's too, cadet. So I wouldn't consider it hazing. Well, having fun with the new guys. The command crew. Captain I've done it. And, you know, regular people to hear what's actually happening on the ship, so he'll probably ask you questions. Great. Have a drink. I got to deal with the ribs. <laughs> Come help refill drinks. Cadet Ahura, good to see you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I've never understood the human inclination to laugh at others' misfortune. It feels impolite. <laughs> That's why it's funny. Because it breaks a social expectation. Sometimes, Miss. Uh, in Kenya, we have 22 native languages. I found early that if I wanted to be understood, it's best to communicate in someone's own tongue. So I learned them. Easy as that. For me, sir. About how many? A thousand applicants? Several thousand. Now you're not sure if you want to be here? I always wanted to study alien languages. I have an ear for them. And a gift for an understatement. I was going to attend the university. The captain values honesty, as do I. But? But I would say to you that Starfleet has been a lifelong dream for many, myself included. If it is not your path, God. Yeah, that was the simulation. The computer simulation suggests that when he comes. So we're ten minutes in. And there's the story. Okay, never mind. Starship and a building on its surface like a planet, but no life signs. Maybe it's not a comet at all, but some kind of derelict spacecraft. Okay, so how do we shut down its shields? Logic suggests the structure is likely where we'll have to go. Go where the aliens are. The surface I'm not going to lie. This feels a lot like episode two you, or three of Enterprise. Hours. Anymore, and your insides will turn to liquid. I do like these suits, though. You good? Yeah. I'm standing on the surface of a comet. <sighs> Pretty neat. Why does that look like a giant egg? Here it is. According to my readings, there is breathable atmosphere inside the chamber. We should make sure it's secure. Lieutenant Spock, can you scan the room? I'll do permission. These markings. They repeat. That's a face. Sequence, huh? Maybe a code? I don't know. Just everything seems to point to this egg. It's important. It's an old Earth game. I'm familiar with Yahtzee, Lieutenant, but I am reading a dangerous buildup of energy. Please step away from the egg. Turn him over. Get his helmet off. Signal's being blocked. I can't get them back. Clear. No, oh, it's a science machine. Not the suit. He's stable, for now. May well be in these markings all around us. And you are the only linguistics expert here. Why do I feel like Spock's underselling himself? I know she's better, but I feel like he's underselling himself. Laser at a higher frequency could cause resonance. The right frequency could shatter it. 
I like this plan. This is a good plan. We'll take us, bring us around. Incoming weapons fire. Damage report. Minimal damage to port and cell. Shields holding at 70%. Who hit us? Uh, they did. Holy hell. Millions of people on that planet. The impact will kill them all and likely blow your comet, uh, <clears throat> blow your Mahanit into just as many pieces. Are you a reasonable man, Captain? I'd like to think so. Before our distant ancestors touched the sky and the stars beyond, my people have been charged with the protection of the Arbiters. None of us even remember when the charge first came to us, but we accepted the mantle with honor. For centuries, I, I need some backfill. We have protected the Arbiters as they follow courses set long before our suns first burned in the sky. I need backstory on these guys. That's that is crazy. I really hope there's an episode later on that. that I know it probably won't be this season, but how is he? You did not intend on being here, but you are here. Hypotheticals are irrelevant. Today, you are quite simply the only person for the job. Will you rise to see through? Better pep talk, Spock. better. Speaks off a of harmonics. Nothing from the landing party, but I found a possible signal coming from the comet itself. What kind of signal? Computer, identify this song. Vamo Vamba, a traditional song from Earth, originating in Kenya. <laughs> now does she sing as well as the original? Different pitches or... elicit different versions. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, there'd be an alien in there. It is an egg. I was right. If we are correct and the comet communicates through music, it would be logical to assume that it is speaking to us right now. Okay. So how do we convince it to lower the force field? They are pursuing. Return fire. Negative. Escape pattern April Omega-3. Captain, recommend we withdraw. We're already on the run. We need to warp out and regroup. Facing off with them is suicide. We're outgunned here. She's right. Their ship is too advanced for us to take on. Ortegas, you know how you used to brag you're going to be the best pilot ever to graduate the academy? Word gets around. What's your point, sir? Time to prove it, Lieutenant. Get us in front of that comment. Sorry, no one, no one can be better than Tom Paris. Sorry. Boat. On screen, please. We surrender. The damage we've sustained has caused complete systems failure. And what if we choose not to accept your surrender? Well. Guys, God, I do not like these shuttles. Oh. It's too weird. They're too sleek. Is everything okay? Fine, Captain. Sometimes things go so badly, you just have to laugh. <laughs> oh, that's so unlike Spock. In <laughs> the glory and the mercy that is Mahanit. You're right. We witnessed a miracle. Perhaps in the future, you will not be so quick to judge the faith of others. The computer helped me turn those numbers into numerical coordinates. You're saying the numbers painted a picture? 
Yes, but not just any picture. The music contained this image. This is a star chart showing the comet's course. Course. Yes, the shape the ice that Falapa take with such accuracy. Unless your flight was foretold. I, You're suggesting I, the comet had foreknowledge of future events? The comet's flight path and its, I don't know, mission to seed that planet was predicated on you flying that shuttle to move it. In fact, quite well. No pep talk could have increased them. I understand you did not come to Starfleet the way many of us have. That you were not sure you wished to stay. But having observed your actions on the comet, I'm certain, should you choose to, Starfleet would be fortunate to have an officer like you. You Uto Hoshida. Andrea Lopez. Okay. A decent episode. I liked it. I'm a little bit thrown off by Ortega and the way she talks, but not disrespectful. She jokes with fellow younger crew members, which I can see happening in real life. Um, I still don't like the shuttles. I think they're just too sleek, too weird. They got all the levers and push buttons you would expect from like three original series, which this is about the same time frame, and it just throws me off. One thing I forgot to mention before the show started, I am very happy that the lit, the bridge is lit. I do like that. That is a a positive for the show. But Ike realizing that he can live without worry about when this happens, I think is good. I have a feeling the season's going to end up with him saving the kids in a way that he didn't see in his vision. Kind of like he sees the vision happen and then... It goes past that point because I don't know the, vi the vision that they showed early on kind of looked different than the way he dies in either the movies or the TV, the, the original series. So, so I don't I don't think it's that I don't think that's the vision of his death. I think he just misread it. But good episode. It was finally good to see who the chief engineer is, and it's an Anar. I'm saying that right. I did like them in surprise. I thought it was a good story. It was a good little you know self told story. Um. I felt it did feel a lot like an episode of, but I have to go back and look at it. it felt like an episode of Yoshi. Hoshi doesn't feel like she. Uh, sorry, I had my Yoshi shirt on yesterday. Um, when Hoshi felt like she didn't belong, and at the very end, she kind of figured out that she could read languages really well, and she could be a part of the crew, and she could contribute. That's literally what this episode felt like for a whole kind of uh, felt kind of a copycatish but you know if you step back from that for a second it wasn't a bad episode so if you guys like the reaction if you did uh, feel free to like share subscribe comment below and until next time bye bye for now